When you start out meditating, you should make a survey of your body and your mind. First look at the mind. What kind of level of energy do you have right now? Is it too frenetic or is it too dull? If it's too dull, think of things that will stir up the energy. You can start breathing in ways that are more energetic. And you can start thinking about what's going on in the mind. Try to take an analytical attitude. What have you got in here that's unskillful? Search it out. That will wake you up. If there's too much energy, you can try to calm yourself down. Breathe in a way that's calming. And focus on simply getting the mind still. Any thoughts that come up, you say, no, I'm going to be still right here, still right here. That way you can get your mind just right. At the same time, you get the breath just right. Notice what the body needs. Does it need energy? Does it need to be calmed? The breath can have an awful lot to do to help there. You're trying to bring things into balance. We read about people who go to these meditation retreats and they have extreme experiences. And they seem to be encouraged to have extreme experiences. But for the Buddha, everything is about balance. When you think in terms of the Factors for awakening, you balance the active ones with the more still ones. If you think in terms of the basis for success, desire, desire to practice, persistence in the practice, being intent, and using your powers of analysis. In every case, the Buddha says, do it so it's just right. Notice when it's too heavy or too strong. Notice when it's too weak. Try to bring things back into balance. Because when the mind is balanced, that's when you see things clearly for what they are. When you're having extreme experiences, it's like going into a fun house with strange mirrors. There are mirrors that make you look tall and stretched out. There are mirrors that make you a little tiny and fat. And they're fun for a while, but they don't really get you to see what's really going on. You want a mirror that's flat, smooth, clear. So think of bringing things into balance. And that way you're more likely to see things for what they are.